ओम श्री साई राम माई हम्बल प्रणाम्स एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ अवर मोस्ट बेलवर्ड भगवान लेट मी एक्सटेंड माई हार्टी ग्रीटिंग्स टू ऑल साई फ्रेटर्निटी ऑन द सेक्रेड अकेजन ऑफ नाइंटी एथ बर्थडे ऑफ अवर मोस्ट बेलवर्ड भगवान श्री सच साई बाबा ऑन दिस डे वी शुड थिंक ऑफ सर्टन important aspects and take certain relevant decisions befitting the occasion we are very grateful to bhagwan for all the gifts of grace and for all the blessings that he has conferred on all of us across the world while at the same time we also realize our responsibility towards the such a organization founded by him directed by him and also suggestions for its improvement including aims and objectives behind the organization while we are thankful to him we also know that we should be grateful to him and that we should serve him I personally believe that there are two aspects in this Sai organization. One is the message; the other is the mission. The message of Sach Sai Baba is the foundation; is the one that motivates us to participate actively, enthusiastically, in a committed way in His divine mission. mission is the implementation mission is the execution of all the programs and activities as stated by bhagwan for this message is the foundation here it is also noteworthy absolutely essential to know that it is a matter of deep conviction with conviction we should be committed to his mission with conviction only we can rededicate our lives for the fulfillment of the divine mission and therefore conviction is most essential but unfortunately some of us go by convenience the convenience is more suitable to the field of politics and not to religion and spirituality religion and spirituality have nothing to do with convenient philosophy convenience or opportunism or taking things to one's own advantage will never help us in spiritual path particularly sai wants us to be away from politics to be away from such personal aggrandizement personal glorification or self esteem he wants us to commit ourselves with conviction and not political convenience or anything like that my friends to be plain enough what do i mean by conviction bhagwan we are committed to you you are our lord we know how you helped us you know how you bestowed bounteous blessings and grace upon us and our families how you came to our recover came to rescue how you recovered us from various sorts of losses in life how you helped us at every moment the for generations and how to express our gratitude to you swami in full understanding of your grace with richness of experience over the years it is absolutely necessary that we shall not we should not we will not deviate from the spiritual path as bhagwan said for contemplation meditation only one god for singing his glory you can mention any number of names names for sankirtan singing his glory but only one form and name for meditation or jhana so let us commit with conviction only one form and name all in the name and form of bhagwan sri sat sai baba is not anything like that and further let us question ourselves what is it that bhagwan has not given us what is it that he has not 
told us what is it that he has not conveyed over the past several years in his life on earth for 85 years he toiled he toiled and spared no efforts to convey to vast humanity the purpose of life and the way of life the primary way of serving the fellow humanity so what else is to be conveyed i personally feel i personally feel that there is no topic under the sun that he has not spoken he spoke on all these topics take for example in the worldly parlance topics such as personality development mind management the time management steps to success have all been dealt thoroughly in depth by bhagwan sri satsai baba in his divine discourses especially given to students during summer course every year and relating to vedanta the spirituality and philosophy that is contained in 65 volumes as on today so what what else you need why should we go anywhere why should we go anywhere who else can speak more than this it is a torrential oration it is that which is original the ganges from manas gangotri the original nascent fresh fragrant waters are different from the saltish water that goes elsewhere therefore for heaven's sake we should pray to bhagwan that he will not permit us nor allow us to deviate from this path and that we should take at our own psychological level as individuals that we shall never trespass that we shall never leave this path laid before us let us commit to such a organization with conviction let us have deepen our conviction more and more than ever before that bhagwan sri sat sai baba is only god eko hum bhushyam in the second coming of jesus christ he is jehova he is yehova he is rama krishna all in one that is bhagwan sri sat sai baba that should be our conviction let our conviction should be in the direction of adopting all the paths laid in front of us in the field of service in particular service in particular as we serve more he will bless us more and more let us also share the good news of fellowship of faiths unity of religions with everybody in the community let us bring this sai awareness of unity in sai fraternity of unity in community in general so as to experience divinity within therefore may this birthday help us to grow richer and richer deeper and deeper in faith vast in our activity spread the message more and more but in all the three areas the spiritual the educational and service activities may bhagwan be with you your families and in the community in general i pray bhagwan choice blessings to be showered upon the devotees of trinidad and tobago the places i visited excellent places indeed ideal devotees indeed may you grow richer and richer in strength in devotion and service to community sairam to everybody